Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. We are working in a condominium association here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I spoke to the maintenance guy here and he installed a 55 gallon drum as a sump basin. And they also installed trench drains here. And the reason that this is here is because many places in Charlotte, the yards are lower than the street and there's no way to remove the water without a pump. Rick, the maintenance man, he told me, you know, Chuck, I watched all your videos. I put this all together and it worked great, but all of a sudden it stopped working. Can you help us out? Well, of course we can help him out. The pump's been plugged in here to this GFI and we'll go ahead and plug it back in so you can see. As soon as you plug the pump in, it trips it. See the little yellow light? When you try to reset it, it just won't reset. So if we unplug the pump, reset the GFI, the GFI is working great. So we're going to lower this pump. We're going to lower this pump down into the pit. Let's do that right now. Just let it go all the way down to the bottom, keeping our cord out of the water. <laughs> And now we're going to go ahead and plug. Now we're going to plug this pump in and see if it trips this as well. Nope. And you can see it's kicked on. So I'm going to drain. I'm going to drain this pit out, and then we'll pull that pump and take a look. You can see it's going to take a little while. This is not a real powerful pump. This is just a used pump that we've kept to you know, kind of pump out areas that we need to work on. So, water's coming out. This is a 55 gallon drum that someone has made into a sump pit. And you can see here's where the sump pump's discharging coming out of the sump pit. And down here, if you can see through the water, there is the inlet line which picks up the downspouts and some catch basins that are coming from the house. And the reason that there's a pump here is because it's actually uphill out there to the street. And it's uphill back that way. So you can see water just sits in this area, just sits here, makes it really nasty, I'm sure, to mow. But that little pump's doing great. It's pumping this water out pretty quick. There's a lot of water down in the ground here. It's going to have to drain out of that pipe as well the four inch pipe over here. More than likely, there is something that has stopped the impeller on the pump. And the impeller is what spins around and creates suction, lifting the water up you know, into the pump. More than likely, something has gotten stuck on that impeller. And we'll find that out here in just a second. So I just said it's probably the impeller that's bad. But as the water level went down, take a look. Can you see these wires? They're running through the French drain. This is not how to install a pump. These wires are not rated to be underground, let alone be in the water. They will go bad. So it could be that the pump is actually burned out. But we're going to find out. We're going to pull that pump and find out exactly what's going on. Why is it tripping that GFI? There's got to be a reason, and we're going to figure that out. Before you reach into that pit, always unplug your electricity. That way we know that there's no worry of getting electrocuted. You have to be really careful when you're reaching in here to a sump pump because there's electricity in here and you really could get shocked and quite possibly perish. We're gonna go ahead and replug the original pump in. But it still tripped it, so there's still something going on. I can see all the mud down there around the bottom of this thing. So we're going to have to take the check valve off. The check valve is right here. We'll take that off and then we'll take the pump out. Okay, so we loosened up that clamp. 
as we pull this out water is probably going to come up out of here but we're going to go ahead and pull it loose and get this pump out of here there we go you can see this is the line that runs out to the street so there's water in this pipe the check valve keeps the water from coming down in but we're going to lift it up and let's take a look okay so you can see right here there's a stick stuck a stick stuck inside the impeller so let's pull that out of there and uh, there we go and then let's, let's spin that impeller oh yeah nice and free so now let's test it and see we put we go ahead and plug it back in got it in and we're going to reset it and we're going to turn the power on and you can hear it humming away it's just humming real nice everything appears to be working good but we'll probably recommend that we replace this pump because it's probably been stuck in that on position for quite some time so i also recommended to rick that we pull these wires out of this pipe and i mean they've got the gfi you know right beside the pit and that's not just how you do it and please don't do this you guys it's very tempting to hide your wires especially when you can run them through your pipe but they're not rated to be underground or inside of a pipe that's full of water hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day